Invictus Games challenges serving and veteran military personnel who've been wounded, injured or fallen ill during or as a consequence of service. Its mission is to inspire communities from around the world through the power of the unconquered human spirit. Team UK has been involved since its inception. My name is Lieutenant Commander James Rogers. I'm a Royal Navy Submariner. Uh, and I'm also fortunate to be the Team UK uh, Victus Games Captain for 2023 in Dusseldorf. I joined the Navy in 2007. Back in 2016, life was good. I was fit and healthy. Then all of a sudden, I had an aggressive onset of what turned out to be an inflammatory arthritis condition. The impact that the last six, seven years have, have had, it's been, been pretty, um, pretty horrendous time for us as a family. I've got two young kids, Harry's 10 now, Emily's seven. It has been impactful on them at times. There's a number of things that I can't do, I'm not allowed to run anymore. So when Harry, for example, rode his bike for the first time, um, it was my dad that was running with him. Um, Um, it was my dad that was running with him, riding. My name is Kenitha Franklin. Everyone calls me Frankie. In 2019, I started basic training. In week seven of 2019, everything was going well. I uh, woke up the morning, did my normal routine, and got off the bus at Dartmoor to start the walk to the guide's hut, and my body just slowed. I went into surgery four days later. I remember when I signed for an amputation and I was in so much pain. If they had said to me, we are gonna take your whole body off and all you're gonna have leave is your head, I would have been like, I'm up for it. Because I wanted to get out of my pain. I, I didn't, I never knew what compartment syndrome was. But when I woke up that day, the first surgery, and I saw the two holes in my leg, I was like, there goes that ball. My name's Charlie Charles, and I joined the Royal Marines on the 21st of May 2001. A, no a normal d day at work at 42 Carandor. That was easy enough. I was riding home from work and coming down the road around about, got knocked off me pushed back on the roundabout and just ended up with a broken neck, fractured skull and a bleed on the brain. The, 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 the biggest effect today is the bleed on the brain. And um, as you might be able to tell, that um, makes it hard to process things and it makes it hard to um, Communicate. I'm Becky York. I joined the Royal Marines Band Service when I was 18, straight out of school. Played in many, many engagements. Uh, my favourites probably being Strictly Come Dancing. Played at the wedding of Prince William and Catherine. In 2014, I went on a promotion course, and as part of one of the exercises, unfortunately, I injured my hip. It turned out that I'd torn the entire joint and I had early onset arthritis caused by the trauma of the injury. I was recommended to not get back on a bike, to limit my walking, to not have children. My mental health was really suffering. I was in a, a, very, a very bad place. I was suicidal at times and I had to make the phone call. I had to make a phone call home to my parents to say that I had to come and stay with them because I wasn't allowed to be on my own anymore. And that was a really difficult day. Every single one of us here, we gave up our life for one purpose, to protect the UK and its 13 territories. When you got injured, you, you feel left out of that? and you feel defeated, you feel like you never accomplished purpose. Everybody that's here has suffered. The bonds that you form is absolutely, it's, it's almost 
forever. It's just more like finding another family and somewhere to fit and belong. The ability to do sports with like-minded and similar people in the veterans community is amazing and outstanding. How can we start fixing the injury and start giving me a life back? Giving up is not a reason. It's not an option. I, do I feel like giving up? Yeah, I do. But it's not. The games are the pinnacle of the recovery journey. We're here now. Let's go compete and show everyone what we can do. The Merkur Spiel Arena in Dusseldorf, Germany, home for the next seven days to the sixth edition of the Invictus Games. There is sparkling in the sunshine. It's so, so exciting. The weather is so hot, but the atmosphere and the energy is even hotter. I'm really chuffed to have the chance to compete against all these other great athletes. It is the Armed Forces Olympics. I'm proud of uh, my team. It's, it's not just a competition for us. We, we're not just going out there as Team UK, we're going out there as Family UK. We're going to give it 110%. We're going to deliver what we have trained over the last six months to do. And to bring us all together in such a positive, celebratory way is, yeah, it's, it's amazing. Prepare to race. Good start too for Paul Charlie Charles, a late seven, Royal Marines veteran. He's made a cracking start. So James Rogers sitting on the back there, number 777. He's done his work on the front. He's just having a little bit of a rest today. And the Australian's gone down. He's taken a crack and been fine. That's going to put Becky. You'll just be mine for Fuxa. Fantastic musician she is. Right at the moment, 253, 371. Rogers. Rogers, I reckon, good first of the lead. Yes, James Rogers takes over. Here's the I know one thing for sure, I'll be proud to be there. I'll be proud to be there. I'll be proud. Rebecca York, wow, she dominating the races again. She looks like she is going to be one of the stars of 2023. The mental scars for me are far worse than the physical. And that's what I've realized through going through this. Being my personal challenge of um, trying to get under a minute for a 100 freestyle. I'll be, I'll be ecstatic if I do that. Can Paul Charles spoil the party? Head down into the wall and just point one, one dividing it. Paul Charles looks up at the clock. He has broken the minute barrier. He has won the men's 100 freezer ISE. What a race. Your gold medalist and Invictus Games champion, James Rogers. He is UK's team captain. Lives with inflammatory arthritis two kids and get gold in the second Invictus Games. There's no other contest in the world where you get that many nations coming together, that common brother and sisterhood. You see pride and you see life, you see joy, you see happiness, so I'm proud of everybody. Patch up, crack on. Post Invictus, this is what's becoming normal in our family life and to have all my family so proud of me, sorry. Anybody who knows me, if you recognise my face, you've been there for me, much appreciated. Thank you. The games gave us that assurity that life doesn't end. It continues, it pushes you, it motivates you. I want to be a better person. I'm learning to accept who I am now. I'd just like to say thank you. Thank you for supporting this opportunity for us to be able to be the best versions of ourselves and to show our families and our friends that have been there through the worst of times, all the way through that journey, what better people we are now and how we are able to use the opportunities of sport, the camaraderie, the teamwork to make us 
better people. So thank you. Please put your hands together as we welcome our competitors to the stage. Team UK Captain, Lieutenant Commander James Rogers. Frankie Franklin. Paul Charlie Charles. And Becky York.